happy I shake it, and this is Cooking Contaminated, where I take the dishes and recipes of some of my best friends in metal, and I add a little hellacious twist of my own. Again to Cooking Contaminated. I am here with my good buddy Jason Netherton. Jason, it is great to have you in my home today. What are you bringing for us? Well, when you asked me to do this, I thought, you know, what would be uh, something that would represent, you know, my heritage or whatever, or misery indexes. And I thought, what better else than crab cakes? Because Crab cakes and death metal, that's what Maryland does, right? Well, two of the few things that Maryland does, but uh, they certainly do them well. And uh, you brought a recipe here that uh, I, you know, I'm sure you've had a couple times. And uh, we're going to try to make these up. It is going to be a summer treat. And I'm going to combine these with some grilled corn with a little Cajun uh, Creole butter sauce. We're going to put on the corn and sprinkle it with some stuff too. It's going to be fantastic. But let's get started first with the crab cakes. Um, we're going to go ahead and take about a cup of, I guess, breadcrumbs. But first we're going to moisten the breadcrumbs with a little bit of milk. Milky milk. And that'll just kind of sit there and you can't moisten them. hard breadcrumbs anymore. Yeah, hard breadcrumbs will not. No, you got to moisten them up. All right, these are going to get moist. We're going to mix these here with our hands. Make sure they're a little moist to the touch. Does uh, that look pretty good to you? I think it's appropriately soggy. All right, well that's how we make them here. And uh, we'll go ahead and put those aside and we'll combine the rest of our ingredients for our crab cakes. First things first though, Jason, can you beat one egg, the egg going? for me? Break it up, bust it out. And I will then add one tablespoon of homemade mayonnaise, about a tablespoon of Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, fantastic. I'm going to put in one tablespoon of parsley flakes, one tablespoon baking powder, and one teaspoon of your favorite Old Bay seasoning. That's the key ingredient. Key slash my best ingredient. And you want to do a little salt to taste here. Just throw a couple little bits of salt here for taste. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a one beaten egg into there along with our crab meat. One pound of lump that, crab meat. That. Isn't that beautiful? This is beautiful. This is beautiful crab meat. Do not use back fin crab meat for your uh, crab cakes. As well as our cup of moistened breadcrumbs. Now I'm going to go ahead and stir this up. While I do that, man, what has been up with you? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm sure things have been doing well. You. Uh, I think you're out on some big tours and you got some new exciting stuff coming out, man. What have you been doing? We just got home from a tour with Fetus, our Maryland brethren, Dying Fetus, and uh, our sister's on that as well. Yeah, and we sure. melted some faces. It was the face melter tour. Alright, so we finally mixed our crab cakes, so we're going to go ahead and just make these into the actual case. Uh, you know, I guess about a little bit of a handful here. Do some and patty molding. Mold them into nice little patties. Does this look a uh, nice little size for you right here? Yeah, you can really make them as big or as, uh, you know, whatever size you want. Big and small as you like. You touched uh, briefly on the fact that you have a new record, which I think is totally killer. How do you think that came out? Were you pleased with it? Uh, anything you did differently this, uh, this time around? Um, well, we've we, for the first time, we actually recorded the whole album before we recorded the album. We did it at a home studio. So we sort of did a whole demo version of the record. And uh, that way when we got to the studio, we knew exactly what we wanted to do. It was just a blueprint for the record and it went a lot smoother in the real studio. Dude, it sounds fucking monstrous, man. It's totally awesome. 
Thanks, brother. Yeah, no problem. I actually did not fuck these up, um, as I'm prone to do with most things. And I think these look great. We got one more here. Yeah, we got one more. We got five of these things. And we'll go ahead and we're going to fry them in a hot pan with a little bit of oil until they're golden brown. Yes. Let's go ahead and get our corn ready to put on the grill. Uh, obviously, you see a piece of corn, an ear of corn. It's fairly easy to go ahead and manage. First thing we're going to do is we are going to husk our corn. Like you do in Oklahoma. Corn husking. They have competitions for this. We're going to chop these and cut these into manageable pieces for our grill. We're just going to go ahead and crack these. We're going to go ahead and throw our corn pieces just directly on the heat. We're going to get them nice and toasty. All right, while well, those are on the grill, we're going to go ahead and make a melted butter creole sauce. So I like it. It's actually really just melted butter with creole seasonings and spiciness in it. But it's very easy to do, and we're going to go ahead and do it right now. So first things first, get a nice little small saucepan, okay? And you don't want to burn your butter. So go ahead and put about a teaspoon of oil first down in there. And then we're going to go ahead and get a stick of butter, one tablespoon of your favorite Creole seasoning, quarter teaspoon of red cayenne pepper. And what we're gonna do is, after this is all melted, we're gonna get a nice little brush and brush it all over that shit. All right, these things are looking nice and grilled. So we're gonna go ahead and get them off of here and make our Creole butter topping. They look great. All right, so the sauce is made. Let's go ahead and slather it all up on our corn. I am it, stoked. It looks good. We're gonna use a little brush here that we got from William Sonoma. And brush it on there. Look at how delicious that looks. Creole butter. It's gonna be nice and spicy with the cayenne pepper up in there too. We'll do, it, we'll do it extra buttery. What do you think about that? Why not? Why not? We're young, strapping it's young crazy rats. crazy in here. We're getting crazy up in here. And you know what? We're gonna get extra crazy. Jason, you wanna go ahead and add a little pinch of Parmesan cheese Parmesan. up in there. Yes. Just a pinch. That'll be great. Give it a nice little tang. All right, so it's finally time to get our crab cakes onto the pan. First of all, I'm gonna get your pan nice and hot. Put a little oil there. Go ahead and throw that in there. Make sure your pan's hot before you get that oil. And let's just throw these on here, and we're gonna fry these. Ooh until they are golden brown. Give them a little room. Give them a little room to breathe. You yeah, know, try to get them all on there. Yeah, we'll try to get them all on there. Crab cakes are done. I'm gonna go ahead and plate these next to our corn. And Jason, who is the master of the universe, is at the table already. And we just got joined by Sean from the Rumpelstiltskin Randa. And he is there as well. So we're gonna have some company while we eat this. Crab cakes and corn. What the fuck else do you need? Whoa! All right, so there you have it for two Maryland bros. We got crab cakes and our corn with our Creole butter topping. Fantastic. Stoked. And we're gonna go ahead and enjoy our crab cakes and corn with Stoked. Sierra Nevada Summerfest Lager. It's a crisp Pilsner style lager that is very light, will go well with the crab cakes and a hot summer day, just like today. So enjoy yourself as we're gonna enjoy this shiznit. See you next time. Prost.